son of a biscuit and just missed him. What's up bass fishing freaks? Luke Reeser here from Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors. Welcome back to another ice fishing episode. Today we're back out at Lake Meat, but we don't have no meat with us today. Jamie and his brother are with us. We're jigging for some bluegills and crappies. I got here, it was still dark out, and uh, the bite was really slow, first light. And the sun just came out, and it's starting to get good. I'm gonna jig with some waxies, try to get my five big ones, confidence, and then I'm gonna go to work with some drastic plastics. See if we can catch some crappies. Maybe the bluegills will bite them too. Stay tuned, folks. Donkey hunting starts right now. There he is. Nice crappie. I don't think he's going to 10 though. Just shy of 10. We'll let him go. Good way to start the morning. There he is. Feels like a good one. You bet. Really? There he is. Good fish. You betcha. There we go. Hey Dan, how are you? You too. Yeah, that's a good one there. You betcha. It's been really slow until I just caught two in a row, I guess. There he is. Feels a little better. You bet. Oh, really? Good one? Yeah? Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. You bet. All day. There he is. Ooh, that feels good. Oh yeah. That'll work. That will work. There he is. I don't think this one's very big. Oh, it's a decent one. Yeah. All right. There we go. Whole bunch of doe kills. Oh, that feels like a good fish. 
You betcha. That's a donk. Oh. That'll work all day. There he is. Feels good. So we get yeah. Get him up here without taking the transducer out. All right. Let's see if he'll go eight inches. If he goes eight inches, then I'm limited out on big bluegills and do something different. He might not. Oh, he's so close. So close. Yeah. We'll call him eight. It's right there. All right, got my five. So Scott was nice enough to send us some plastics. Got all these plastics from Drastic. So we're gonna use some of them today. I think I'm gonna start off with the orange bone bug. Yeah, no, I used that one yesterday. Let's try one of these flukes. What color? Silver? Pink. I'm gonna start off with a pink fluke. We'll try that. Alright. Pull one of these suckers out. So this is a one inch fluke. <laughs> Jamie says these have been, or uh, Scott says these have been selling off the shelf in northern Wisconsin. So we're gonna see if we can make it happen with one. Here we go. Cotton candy three millimeter with a drastic plastics fluke tail. Let's switch holes. There he is. <laughs> the little guy ate the white bone bug. There he is. Old bone bug getting her done today. Two. <laughs> Too bad they're little bitties. Couldn't get anything to touch the the fluke. Put this white bone bug on and caught a couple. Should get a little bigger. You bet. That are the those are the ones you want. <laughs> this little gill. Ate the bone bug. Good eater size. Since I already got my five big ones. There's another one. I'm digging a little bit. Might be a better fish. About the same size as the last one. I've never been much of a plastics guy. I really don't have a lot of confidence in it for ice fishing until I met Scott in Jurassic Plastics. And now I'm trying to use some more because I love his plastics and he soaks them in a special sauce. The fish just can't resist them, I guess. I've always been a no exposed hook guy. Keep my hook in buried so they can't see it. Jig and waxy. It's my confidence, but. We're gonna think outside the box and do a little different here for the rest of the season. Try some new stuff, go some new places. <laughs> you betcha. I hook into a big crappie, you're gonna hear it a lot. There we go. Oh, what can't you do? I said, what can't you do? You freaking betcha. <laughs> I had to trick this guy. I said I had to play cat and mouse with this one. Ooh. 
<laughs> I'm over my limit. It's thick. Twenty. Yeah, eight and a quarter. It's a big gill though. He's thick. All right. See a big dude. White bone bug. They're liking it today. It feels like a good one. You bet. Another eater. There he is. You betcha. Holy Toledo's. It's Miss Ohio. That's a donkey. I ain't seen in a while. <laughs> Better go measure this guy. Hey, Mr. Ruler Man. Yeah. Borrow your ruler. <laughs> this is the eight mark, right? Yep. How accurate is it? Oh, perfect. Seven and three quarters. No, nope, I, I believe you. He gonna eat. Hello, my friends. That's a wrap, folks. Back to the truck. Gonna pack it on in and call it a day. We ended up with 16 keepers today. I did. Jamie and his brother Dan are still fishing. When I left, Jamie had 17. He was one up on me. Jamie was catching some good crappies. I caught one, like I said, the first fish of the morning it was a crappie. It was just short of a keeper. So, as you've seen, I used some waxies. I got my five big ones. Got some other ones, and then I switched to a Drastic Plastics Bone Bug in white. The color was white, and uh, crushed a few on it. They were really liking it out there. Jamie was using a white plastic too later on. I think it was one that he poured himself. Yeah, Bone Bug is a real deal, man. It's the only plastic I've been able to get bit on this year. But we have a ton more ice fishing videos coming, so stay tuned, don't go anywhere. It's gonna be a great rest of the season. It's only the big, uh, halfway through January, so we got two and a half months left of ice fishing. So excited. Next trip out, you're probably gonna see me bringing the long rod back out, the shocker, putting it to work, because we're getting back on the backwaters of Mississippi in the next video. In this freaking auger that I got, this Strike Master, it's the real deal as well. Man, what a game changer. Effortless, drilling holes effortlessly. Is that a word, Effer effortlessly? You know what I mean. If you have not yet subscribed to Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors, go ahead and do that right now. Like always, hit the bell so get notified every time we put out a new video, clobber that thumbs up button, Luke Reeser signing off. Don't you ever forget, you are never too fat to fish.